And it's not just businesses that are having a hard time finding workers these days. Area police departments are also struggling. They are with public safety on the line. It's a really big concern. Our Andrew Christensen tells us why law enforcement agencies are not getting applicants. Yeah, I the Portland Police Department has seen a drop in applicants for the past 10 years. 101, 123. Chief Mark Corey says it's gotten worse in the past two years. Right now, they need to fill four officer vacancies. Well, obviously, we don't like having four openings, but we're, we're able to handle our, our duties and responsibilities just fine. But he says they're lacking one officer during each shift. He says the death of George Floyd at the hands of police and its aftermath caused a drop in applications. It portrayed the 99.99 percent of officers that are out there doing their absolute best to serve the citizens of their communities uh it tried it turned the tide against all those officers and uh, i think that's definitely had an impact on on applicants chief corey says they are raising base pay and offering three-day weekends every other weekend to get more applicants Sheriff Oscar Rivera with the San Patricio Sheriff's Department also tells us they're short on deputies and are raising starting pay next month to attract more officers. So pay was a factor in it. And that worries Aranza's past police chief Eric Blanchard. That likely is going to have a threat on our retention ability within the agency. Blanchard says even though they have a full staff, the city is raising pay. He says he doesn't care if applicants have tattoos or colored hair and says he hopes that that and their training is what attracts applicants. I tell people in Aransas Pass PD, you're not a member, you're a team member. You're a family member in this agency. Um, you have few, fewer people interested. The Rockport Police Department says they're looking to fill two officer vacancies. Chief Greg Stevens says while police officers acting out of line might be swaying public trust in police, they don't have a problem getting applicants, but sometimes have a problem getting ones with the right qualifications. Uh, we are looking for just the right people, uh, to be honest with you. We owe that to our community. Uh, both our full-time residents and the people that come here year after year. Reporting in Rockport, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.